When the vehicle manufacturers started making these smart alternators, companies like Red Arc, who develop, test and manufacture all these products right here in Australia, had to create a charger that can work in newer vehicles. Enter our next in-vehicle charger, the BCDC1225, a cracking entry-level charger that I've run in heaps of my four-wheel drives. It was actually the first setup I ran in the Dirty 30. Now, I could give you a pretty good idea of how one of these units work, but since I'm here at one of the leaders of 12 volt in this country, and one of the biggest innovators in this space, it's only just that I talk with one of the experts in the field. This here is Steve. Now, Steve's got over 20 years experience in the industry, mate. You started off as an auto sparker. You've been at Red Arc for a long time. You've installed a lot of these products. You know about these products. And um, if I can ask you a couple of questions, mate. Absolutely. And the biggest one, I suppose, is what is the main difference between a normal isolator and a DC-DC charger like the one you all got? No worries, Sean. So, a normal isolator will just uh, allow your alternator charge through to your auxiliary battery and then isolate from each other. So you won't draw down your start battery when you're, when you're camped up. The BCDC charge will actually charge that auxiliary battery up to 100% in three stages. So it's looking and it can vary the current and voltage into that battery, so you know you're getting 100% state of charge into that. Right, so different batteries need different types of charge. Um, how does the BCDC do that? Well, it has a selectable profile, so you can choose any profile you like to suit AGM, gel, calcium, or even lithium batteries. Yeah, right. So basically, it'll do all the hard work. You can just set it to the batteries you've got in your four-wheel drive. It'll look after those batteries and charge them the way they need to be charged so you'll get the most out of your batteries. That's right, so it's set and forget, basically. Until you change batteries, you might want to try a different chemistry. You've gone with calcium, that took a high voltage. Now you've gone down to AGM, you'll need to decrease that voltage. So change the profile on this, and that'll cater towards the, the charge profile of that battery. And then again, it'll future-proof you. If you want to put in a, a lithium battery later on, this will do that as well.